What is a buyer broker as agreement and why is the agent asking you to sign one? We're going to talk about that coming up. Hey, I'm Rick McComb with eXp Realty. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking that little button right down there and click that little bell so that you get notified whenever I add new content to this channel. So your agent's asking you to sign a buyer broker's agreement before you go out and look for homes. Why is that? Well, it's pretty simple. The first thing that you see on line number six on this agreement is that we're looking for residential property. We have a time frame where we're gonna work with you. So we lay that out, it's an agreement. And the agreement says that you're authorizing an agent to negotiate at buyer's discretion. In other words, negotiate on your behalf. You're authorizing this agent to do that. To obtain acceptable terms and conditions for the purchase, exchange, option, or lease of the property. Secondly, to assist the buyer during the transaction within the scope of the broker's expertise and licensing. Nothing gets done until you've authorized the agent to negotiate on your behalf. So are you going to get in the car and you're going to look at a house and you're going to say, I really like this, let's write an offer today and then you're gonna discuss the agreement between you and the agent. This should be done up front. This should be done up front and signed and agreed upon up front so that the agent knows that you're committed to working with them and that the agent is committed to working with you. Don't go out looking for a home and then say, oh, okay, well, I might work with you. You know, the agent is putting in a lot of time looking for homes, previewing homes, taking you out and showing you the home, and then when you're ready to negotiate, is that when you're gonna start figuring out whether or not you wanna sign an agreement to work with this agent? So this is, it seems like kind of a, you know, blah, blah piece of paper, but it's very important. It really outlines what the fees are. And in Arizona, buyer's agents don't have fees. Some have placed a retainer fee. Some agents have actually asked buyers to put up a, re a retainer fee you know, just to protect themselves in case they're out showing 40 homes and you don't buy anything. Um, you know, they want to at least pay for the gas. Um, I don't do that, uh, but I won't show a home without a buyer broker agreement. I may show you one or two, but I need to know if you're, if you're in it for the long haul and if I'm going to be your agent that's going to negotiate on your behalf. So that's the reason that this paper's there, uh, but it also outlines for you exactly what an agent does for you and how an agent can protect you. So that's very clear and it's very clear to have that it needs to be on paper. So when your agent says, hey, uh, before we go out, let's sign this buyer broker employment agreement, take the time to look at it and discuss it, and then go out and have some happy house hunting. If you have any questions, go to rickhelps.com and please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel down here. See ya.